What's up everyone, Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California and we have another new breakdown for you today on Jacob Eason, the quarterback out of Washington. We got a recommendation to do this uh, breakdown and I couldn't agree more that this is an absolutely huge breakdown that we gotta be able to do. And, and uh, when looking at the breakdown, the big thing that stands out to me is the similarity that he has within the front leg to Patrick Mahomes and, and his throwing motion. Not that he's gonna end up being the, the next Patrick Mahomes, but just that there are undoubtedly similarities that are um, that we could see here and we'll go and hop right into the breakdown uh, by the way if you guys like the video go ahead and, and and click the like button give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so we'll go ahead and get started <clears throat> you can see the big thing that he does admit that um, Patrick Mahomes does is with this front leg notice that when he goes and he loads it how he keeps the the knee kind of coming inwards the foot going out so what that is that's internal rotation of the hip so that hip is going that way as he's doing that okay and what that does is now that sets him up so then he, when he goes into actually planting that foot down and, and you could even see uh, if you if we did the the breakdown of Patrick Mahomes it really looks exactly the same how he gets so much of his weight on the inside part of this leg and he also lands on the inside part of or sorry that foot and so he lands on the inside part of that the the back foot and has the inside part of the front foot down when he's loading and now from here he's able to create a large amount of transfer force between that back leg and onto that front leg and, and i can almost guarantee you based off how he finishes his throw that he was a pitcher i mean all all pitchers when they when they finish they go down and through like so and they really have that that large amount of trunk flexion in the actual throw and, and these there, there's two things that he does that that we've been teaching our quarterbacks to do one of them is to be able to get that internal rotation of that front hip just because that, that internal rotation there seems to be huge in being able to generate force throughout the hips and the other big thing is really really finishing hard and through with that arm see how he, he finishes all the way down as he's coming through that's a big thing we see a lot of quarterbacks that as they're finishing through they end up kind of slowing their arm down kind of stopping their overall momentum there and what that does is that just makes it so it's a lot more challenging to put a lot behind the throw when it comes to improving overall velocity and throwing power you're not going to be able to throw the ball as hard when you're slowing the arm down through the finish when you finish you want to be able to have full range and bring that that arm all the way down to the opposite hip in order to maximize your overall force so Definitely something that, that we could build off of here. And, and uh, one of the things that, that shows why Jacob Eason just has so much power there. You can see again here where he, he has that load. See what he does with his foot, how he brings that knee in, has that foot down, and then throws from, from the position or, or is able to transfer his weight from that position. We're going to go, and this one's actually a better one here. No, not this one, actually. It is this next one. There we go. So he's here, set, gets that foot out in front, sets down. And, and I want you to also see how he's able to push off of that back leg, but then also keep, you know, when he's pushing off that back leg, he also gets that front foot down before he starts to really open up with that front shoulder. Okay, so notice here, boom, front foot's down. And then after the front foot's down, now he starts to rotate with that, the hips, and then the front shoulder opens up. And the reason why that's important is because I see a lot of quarterbacks who are very, very quick to open up this front shoulder. And what that does is that ruins your ability to utilize your lower body when throwing. And this is something that, you know, right now we're starting to get to the end of the, the high school season. So I've been, been able to see more quarterbacks. And, and that's something that I just see over and over again is, you, you know, that front arm just rotating open right away. Uh, in, instead of using the, the lower body. And that's why some of you guys have the front shoulder pain. Or that's why you guys have the elbow pain is because when you're pushing off that back leg, you're really not generating the force correctly within the, the that lower body and then, and then timing it up with how you rotate with, with uh, the front arm. And then from there, timing it up to make sure that elbow comes through. So it wants to be creating that that load within that lower body then starting to uncork the lower body then opens up your your chest and your front arm just like here and then comes through your throw and it all needs to sync up just like that it needs to be quick but also very very forceful notice how quick that is see how he, he's able to just he just slings that ball uh, but it's all very very timing oriented in terms of how he kinetically or biomechanically maximizes force so you know there's a lot of guys that i know are, are are watching these videos and don't necessarily utilize 
this technique when they're when they're throwing and they're they're significantly impacting the amount of velocity and force that they get behind the ball. And I would just say that the the way to really improve that is going to be, you know, working on that timing and 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 making sure that you don't let that ball also get too far back behind your head. I mean, that's a huge thing that I see all the time is you know the the front arm is opening up right away and you're totally rotating open with your spine and then you have the ball way back behind your head so the combination of both of those are definitely going to be impacting your your ability to, to maximize force and um yeah really create a lot of force in, in the throw so um as always guys thanks for watching these videos i know i'm a little bit pumped up for this one it's a you know it's a late night video i've had a long day so i'm um you know got got a little bit of coffee in me so hopefully you guys can can you know bear with me with that um, you know, and, and I, as I said earlier, I know a lot of you guys are coming to the end of the season. So if you guys are looking to get a throw breakdown, looking to get a part of our throw program, uh, would be happy, happy, happy to have you guys join. Really excited about the, the throw program that we have going into the, the 2020 year. We're going to have some, some new products that we're going to be offering to you guys, some new exercises, just make it so we're just going to continue to maximize value to make sure that you're able to, um, you know, really make a big difference in your, your overall throwing mechanics. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, Maury, M-O-R-E-Y, at yourperformancelab.com, or you can shoot me a text, 818-577-7849. We have some links in the link below, too, if you want to go ahead and check those out as well. So, um, yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching these videos, and we'll talk to you soon.